I regret moving to Toronto. I know that I'm from here and everything, but I just can't sometimes. Hello, this is Cass Contents. Thank you for coming. I wanted to do a rant today about Toronto and not just the recent stabbing sprees and shootings and other crises, but just that there is no decent food in this city. I've been watching this show called, well, I won't name the show because I don't want to get into it, but this show about Toronto food and recently I watched this Toronto blogger and Toronto YouTubers talking about the food scene in Toronto being just the best thing ever. I would like you to tell me where. Where does this good food exist? As someone that used to be a professional cook, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't get it. Montreal? Absolutely. Parts of Quebec? For sure. Um, other parts of the country? I don't know. I won't go into that, but I don't know. Please tell me where the good food is in Toronto. Okay. If you manage to find good food in Toronto, good luck trying to afford it with the cost of living being what it is. It used to be that you could spend your entire paycheck paying for an apartment and live by yourself here. But now Toronto has become the big city with that big city issue that no one can afford to pay for their apartments or their mortgage at two, three, four, five thousand dollars a month. You need to live with someone else or develop a drug dealing habit in order to afford your accommodations. Therein lies the problem of being able to afford any food in the city if you manage to be one of those people that can find the good food in the city. So, be all that as it may, there's really nowhere else that I would like to live in this country. I've lived all over the country and even with its problems, Toronto is still to me by far the best place to live. And I say for me because I'm different. I am antisocial and a loner which works perfectly in Toronto because unless you are these magical people that make vlogs and TV shows that seem to have all the friends in the world, I don't know how you meet people here. And I'm from here. When I lived in other parts of the country, you could literally trip on people and become friends with them. It was just, it was impossible not to meet people. Um, out East, especially, it's, it, people are so friendly. You meet people even if you don't want to. But to me, that was just, it was too much. It was, it was too much socializing. It was too friendly. I'm from here. I couldn't, I couldn't take it. So I moved, when I moved back home, it was that expected, that expected coldness that I was used to. 
I'd gotten used to the friendly, so it did take a while, but I, I acclimated fairly quickly. And uh, this is a place, in my opinion, best place in the country to be Toronto, to be an artist, to be an entrepreneur, I guess based like depending on the type of entrepreneur, because some entrepreneurial roles require you to be really social. So I guess that matters, but that kind of solo proprietor entrepreneurship, it's artist is the best in Toronto. So I love it. I can go anywhere and be anonymous for the most part and just be in my creative brain. There's nowhere else that I can really live in Canada. Um, the cost of living gives you even more entitlement to be the artist, to be the creative, because you can't fucking afford shit. So, you know, there's no, oh, going to the restaurant with your friends, going to the, because you just can't afford shit. And I mean, this also comes from people who do well. The, the, the journalists on TV, I've, I've heard some of them live with their parents. You know, one of them on, that was on uh, Global News, the, no, the Breakfast Channel, and she she can't afford a place in Toronto when she's a journalist. So it is what it is. It's my city and you decide, you decide whether or not you want to come here based on the type of person you are. And maybe you'll come here and you'll try it and then it won't be for you and you'll go somewhere else, but maybe you'll, experience it here and you'll like it and you'll want to stay for me in Canada it's the place to be and so if you're like me which I think is mm, I don't know I don't know how common it is this personality type of mine but if you're like me you might like being here it's Despite what I said, said stabbing sprees and whatnot, I mean, it's a very safe city. There's been an uptick in crime, which is certainly a concern, but by and large, it's a safe city. I feel better here than I have in other parts of the country. The crime rate is, is very low relatively speaking. Actually, I mean, I think it's the safest large city in North America. So that's it. Thank you for watching everyone. If you know of a good food scene here in Toronto, um, vegan, not vegan, any good food, I don't care. I'm a meat eater, but I like vegetarian. I like all sorts of food. Let me know. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye.